Hey guys, you want to see something crazy? So, you know how I always see the number four? And you know how we just had the eclipse? Well, God speaks to me with the number four, and the fourth day talks about the sun, moon, and stars, and how they're, they're put in their places for their times, for signs, for, for appointed times. And God said, let there be lights in the vault of the sky, which this is the... Um, the vault is the uh, firmament, but it's interesting because a vault means like it's a place of something that's inside. It's it's like a device that you open up. I, d I just think this is crazy, but of the sky to separate the day from the night and let them serve as signs to mark sacred times, which is appointed times, some translations, the feast days and days and years and let them be lights in the vault of the sky to give light on the earth and it was so god made the greater lights and the lesser lights to govern the day and the lesser well the greater lights to govern the day the eclipse look this is crazy and the lesser lights to govern the night and he also made the stars and god set them in the vault of the sky to give light on the earth to govern the day and the night and to separate the light from the darkness and God saw that it was good, and there was evening, and there was morning, and that was the fourth day. So you really want to know where we were at in the timeline? God is showing us something, and he showed us repentance. This nation has to turn away. It's crystal clear that God's speaking, but are you listening? Repentance. The river Euphrates, there's four rivers coming out of the Garden of the East, uh, Eden, right, in the Middle East. Four corners, four horsemen. There's four watches in the night. There's a uh, Nebuchadnezzar statue. There's four kingdoms. There's a creature in heaven that has, uh, I think, four heads. <laughs> there's four. There's. I, I mean, this is crazy. The Lord shows me, you know, Deborah a lot because, you know, I'm trying to figure out what am I to you, Lord. My name is Melissa, so in case you didn't know, um, in Greek, if you go deeper in the word search, it means servant of, 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 of Jesus Christ, which is pretty cool. Um, you know, God will communicate to you in his word to tell you who you are to him and what you are to do. He shows me Esther, chapter 4, 14, which if I don't raise up in such a time like this and tell you the truth of the matter that we as a nation need to repent. What does Esther do? She tells everyone in the household that we need to fast. We need to pray and ask for courage and strength. Okay, this gets really deep. Um, this causes for patience and endurance on behalf of the saints in the book of Revelation. We're in, we're in the book of Revelation. And judgment is coming and that's what jesus was showing us in the signs in the sky yeah the rapture didn't happen it's going to happen but for right now this nation is a warning god warns the people to repent study yourself a proof see if you're truly a true follower by reading the word of god it's supposed to it's like a mirror it's a reflection repent and seek him anyways let me know what you guys think We'll see you guys next time.